Hey guys, it's me Jordan and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications that way you do not miss a new video. So today's video is kind of like a Q&A for fall, but it's just like my updated Q&A because as you guys know, I do a Q&A, well I at least try to do one every month. I've kind of been lacking on that job, but we are doing an updated Q&A fall edition kind of like present right now and like what's going on with my life right now. So it's kind of a updated life update Q&A question answering the thing I'm a jigger. So yeah, before we continue today's video, I'm gonna say a humongous thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, I probably wear Anna Luisa's jewelry like every day, 24-7, sleep or non-sleep situation. I have done in the old videos one sponsorship with Anna Luisa and from that jewelry and buying from there, I have loved Anna Luisa ever since. So before we continue today's video, I'm going to share a little fun fact, some fun things about Anna Luisa, my favorite jewelry brand. Maybe to convince you guys to make it your favorite jewelry brand before we continue so let's go ahead and talk first things first Anna Luisa is all carbon neutral all their jewelry is carbon neutral it is all friendly to the mother nature environment Anna Luisa's jewelry is high quality having a jewelry brand that is carbon neutral is something that's kind of semi hard to find but Anna Luisa makes your day better and makes everything carbon neutral which is very good for all the gold jewelry that you receive from them since Anna Luisa is carbon neutral they offset hundred percent of their carbon emissions starting with the source of their raw material all the way to the disposal of their pieces. So in smaller words, they basically give back everything they take, which is basically a fair trade with Mother Nature. Anna Luisa also uses the best noble metals so that you know you are truly getting the quality that you are paying for. Anna Luisa also is the perfect gift for people to receive and for you to receive personally if you want to just buy jewelry for yourself as a gift. Anna Luisa's gifts are perfect for the holiday especially because you can give them to your family and my mom, I know she loves Anna Luisa, so I have gotten a little bit of Anna Luisa for her for Christmas. I'm super excited to give it to her, but they also have amazing holiday deals going around. And if you check out their website, which will be linked down in the description, you can check out the deals they have right now for the holidays and also use my discount code later on. Some of the jewelry pieces I'm wearing from Anna Luisa right now are this pearl necklace. This pearl necklace is probably the most simple necklace I have received, but it's also a simple cute necklace that can go with absolutely anything. It's just a white pearl necklace with a gold chain and the quality on it is absolutely amazing. It never gets rusted. It doesn't get tarnished. This is 100% real. The most amazing quality that you can get in a jewelry piece, period. Another thing I received from them that they gifted me were my pearl earrings. These earrings I've probably worn for like two weeks now. I've worn them in all my TikToks. I've worn them in most of my YouTube videos. I've worn them everywhere at school. A lot of people compliment me and ask them where I get them and I always like tell them where I get them and my discount code with it because if people are in shock that I get a discount code. People are in shock that I'm even a YouTuber if they stop me in the hallways and I like explain myself. But these are the pearl earrings that have been getting compliments day by day. And so when they ask me where they're from, I'll be like, they're from Anna Luisa. You can use my discount code. And that way they can check out my discount code and this video while they're watching this. So if you're watching this and you stop me in the hallways, hey. Other than that, this is a jewelry piece that stops everyone in the hallway and asks me because it's something simple. It's something cute and it matches absolutely anything. Another jewelry piece that I have received from Anna Luisa is their bracelet. This bracelet is the most simplest, cutest bracelet, and I never wear bracelets. It is very rare for you to see me in bracelets. Unless it's my jewelry brand, I'm not wearing bracelets that very often. And I don't know why, but I feel like there's no need for me to wear bracelets if I don't like, you know, I just don't find any interest in me wearing bracelets. I like to wear clay bracelets with my oversized t-shirts, but I also don't wear them all the time. But this bracelet, I have gotten so deeply in love with Anna Luisa's bracelets that a shocker for when I wear bracelets. People are shocked because I never wear bracelets. But this bracelet is the simplest. All these jewelry pieces are simple and matching absolutely anything. This is just a marble white color and it is just a square rectangle shape but it's the simplest thing you can ever receive. I say that about everything but everything is so simple. I don't know how many how much times I have to say that but it really is simple. It's really great quality and they really do match absolutely anything but anyway this bracelet I love this bracelet. It dangles and it does not come off. The chain is perfect. You just adjust it to the sides and it's great quality again. If you haven't already watched my room tour you have seen my jewelry stand that over there in my dresser and inside the dresser I didn't really show you guys everything but it has a little organizer just for Anna Luisa's jewelry and it holds all these cute packaging that they give me because when I have athletics in the morning I wear my pajamas to school, change to my athletic clothes, do basketball and then come return and dress out and then put my jewelry on and everything and these are the perfect cute adorable packaging travel size packages that Anna Luisa receives with your jewelry so they just come in 
these cute packages and you can keep these and I recommend keeping them because they're perfect for travel they're perfect for like if you need to go somewhere and you're not allowed to wear your jewelry there you can just put them in there that way you do not lose them and their packaging is magnetic so that's perfect so the perfect news is that Ana Luisa is having a few sales it is like the end of October Christmas is right around the corner if you're looking for gifts to give to people or for gift for you for your little Christmas gift to yourself Ana Luisa is the perfect thing that you can ever get like I'm telling you guys you need Ana Luisa ASAP no Rocky like point blank period so if you want to have access to Ana Luisa click the website down in my description it takes you straight to Ana Luisa and also I have a discount code for you guys for 10% off if you want a discount code which is Jordan F10 so it's right here Jordan F10 all capital letters if you put that in your cart section when you check out you will get 10% off your sustainable jewelry prices that start at $39 and can get a little bit higher but with my discount code you can get 10% off that is it for the sponsorship portion thank you so much Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video make sure you guys click the link down in the description so you can go access Ana Luisa so now on to the questions. Hey guys, let's do this portion of today's video. Super excited for this part. The questions go hard sometimes and the questions go like, you know, fun. The questions go like deep personal. Just kidding. They really don't. I mean, they do, but they're like not worth I don't know how to explain that. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, let's go ahead and do these questions. So I asked you guys in my community post to ask me some questions. It was a little bit of a late notice. I like posted this one hour ago. So we have 34 questions in one hour. So I'm going to go ahead and answer some of these questions. I'm super excited. I figured a way for me to edit this video so you guys can like know what questions these are and everything because the last one was kind of rushed due to sponsorship, but we're going to make this perfect because this is now like we got to work on my editing skills, you know? Okay, first question is, what are your dreams for the future? Relationship, kids, job, and home. Okay, relationship-wise, <sighs> goals go hard you know goals like go really hard but my dream for a relationship is that like perfect Pinterest relationship and if you don't already follow my Pinterest make sure to go ahead and follow that but that relationship where it's like loving loyal kind sweet Christian like a relationship I think it's hard for you to find a relationship right now a teenage role and like have that vision of what you want but I don't really have a vision for that yet I want it to be like that perfect like obviously it's not gonna be perfect but I want it to be close to perfect type of relationship where everything is like you don't have to worry about anything like that relationship where you know you can trust them in that relationship where it's like so beautiful you know okay kids um my goal for kids is two or three um i can't really stand Brody right now but it's because my he's my brother and it's just like something that just tags on with having a sibling but two or three i want to have at least one girl most definitely and a boy i really don't care what i get i'd be grateful point blank period but a girl is like my first kid that i really want is to have a girl but if not it'll be a boy obviously but other than that I want at least two to three kids wise job my job is I want to become an influencer I am a photographer at church I'm also an influencer online on TikTok and YouTube and I think that it's gonna go big and I'm praying because I'm like praying if there's a question about it I'll explain my story on influencing but I have said it multiple times but I don't think I've gotten so like personal with it but influencing small business owner and maybe a photographer so yeah and home I would love to build my own home but if there is that perfect house that's already built and doesn't need to take all that time and effort I would love to have that big house and I have so much like interior design in my heart like I love and like designing so I want a big story house two-story or three-story not really sure how that's gonna work but I want that big like fun I want that big structured house so yeah next question is who is your favorite youtuber I really don't have a favorite youtuber and I think that's like maybe like bad thing but I really don't have a favorite youtuber the youtuber that I watch all the time is Claroline Manning she is like one of the most productive one of the most successful one of the most inspirational youtubers that I watch and she is really sweet and kind-hearted she has like all the features that I want in her like I love her so much so Caroline Manning probably is my favorite one next question is social life slash friend update so social life um we have gained 20,000 subscribers in the past three months that makes me go crazy the the story behind it if there's a question I will answer that if not I'm gonna make a personal video about it because I don't want to like rant this is the longest question ever but social life is going crazy TikTok is going great everything for social media is booming and blasting and I'm I am so grateful for that especially that I just got monetized a few months ago I've been like coming in with different payments and sponsorships and overflowing with the gratefulness of God that it, it's it, it's insane for the friend update you lose friends here and there you gain friends here and there friends are fake friends that get personal you it, you just have to balance it out and like you can't put all your trust into one person because the next thing you know they're off to another girl and I think 
the grieving attention for people that want to have friends. Friend wise, it's going pretty decent. I mean, I have Bryn, I have Emily, I have Katie, but you never know what the next step could happen. You never know if they move on like from friendship where like you can't trust them anymore, like that type of situation. But those are my three friends at the moment that are like close that I'm like close, close with. But other than that, that's my only friend update. People come and people go. People don't trust you anymore. People, that, it's, you just never know. What's your middle name? My middle name is Michelle. So it's Jordan Michelle. I'm not gonna say my last name because that's kind of awkward, but it's Michelle. Me and Alexis have the middle name. Yeah. Next question is, do you like anime? Answer is, I don't even care for anime. Like, I don't have any interest in anime, point blank, period. Like, I've, I found it so weird. Like, I don't know how to explain that. I don't, I don't like anime, I don't think. Okay, next question is, you post a lot of TikToks about things like being used. Anything you can tell us on that or give advice? That is mostly kind of true. So, the it, TikToks about me getting used. So, it, it, there's different ways that could go. It can go in a relationship way. It can go in a friendship way. I post my TikToks like to get personal, but also to not get personal. I'm trying to make them entertaining and fun. But there's also times where I need to like be personal. And social media is a platform that I use it. I don't go too personal on it, like where I live and everything. But I go personal from like what's going on in my life because I feel like it's not fair for other people to influence other people to have like a perfect productive life when they're probably like being depressive right now. So I like to show how I feel but me being used can be in a friendship and in a relationship way. My relationship ended like I don't even know when it ended. It was like June 7th or something like that. I don't even know. It was very unexpected. It only was a date for one week and I, I don't even know what happened from there. Just a flash before my eyes but we don't even talk about that anymore. We don't really care because we have moved on from that and we deserve better and that is the motivation that's going through my head right now um i can also be used by my friends you know i was used in a relationship type situation but also from friends it is something that is like going like really hard right now like there's a bunch of different fake people that i'm like figuring out in my life and so i feel like getting used from um wanting clout is something that they use me for is clout and so like i've lost all those friends friends that use me to like tell them like the truth and like everything that happens in my life that you used to trust from last year they can disappear and i think that's I think that's the main point I'm trying to get to is it's really hard to like, you know, find someone that you really do trust and someone that is actually trustworthy. Next question is, do you have a favorite movie? My favorite movie? Okay, I have multiple different favorite movies. I think a Disney movie that's my favorite is Moana, obviously. Moana or Tangled are my favorite movies. I was Moana in my musical theater last year. It makes me cry so much because like, it was last year. Last year was my favorite year like ever in my life. But Moana's my, and Tangled are my favorite Disney movies. Um, In reality, the like the real movies, like the real human being movies, I have no clue. I binge watch everything. I think Outer Banks is not even a movie. It's literally seasons, but I've been watching Outer Banks nonstop. Like I used to watch it last summer and now I'm watching it again. I can't wait for Christmas because because I'm fixing to spam with Christmas movies. Okay, next question is, girl, how old are you? The answer is, I'm 14, I will turn 15 December 22nd. Have you listened to Midnight's by Taylor Swift? If so, what's your favorite song? I think I've listened to one of them. I haven't even listened to the whole thing. I think it was just a TikTok, TBH, so no, I haven't, so I will get to working right there. What inspired you to start YouTube? The answer is, I always had a phone and I always was recording. I always saw people recording me when I was little and I think just talking to the camera is what inspired me and watching other YouTubers like influence other people like that made me like really like create the imagination of you can do this you know but then that like that downside of people like you know failing on you and like not believing in you point blank period I think that's something that like took down on me but other than that what inspired me was seeing other people like have a camera and I think I just love talking to the camera that it just made me seem like I can be an influencer I can do this you know next question is how did it feel when getting your YouTube paycheck the feeling was absolutely amazing I've not made the video yet because I don't know like how I should explain this to you guys because a lot of people at school are like oh my gosh Jordan like do you make money from YouTube um like how, how do you do do blah 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 and I think the thing is that I don't want to like explain like it in a simple way because the challenges and obstacles you go through to receive a YouTube paycheck is a lot. I started YouTube two years ago, I'm pretty sure. I have to like look at my calendar, but at least two years ago I started YouTube and I it's been a while for me to build up, but now that I'm like getting my subscribers and getting my watch hours, it's starting to go. But the obstacles that go through it is very complicated, especially when you're younger. It's like you have to like go through all these obstacles. Like you have to be X amount of age, you have to do X, Y, and Z, and I think it's just a lot of time and patience that like obstacles you go through. But I 
I think the feeling is really amazing towards the end because you start getting it monthly and it's a really amazing feeling because the last YouTube paycheck I received was $3,333 something dollars which is really insane I cannot think I, it just can't process in my head that that's what I had and I just can't thank any of y'all so much like I personally would send out a thank you letter to all 27,000 of you guys like that is how deep and personal I take it because that was the biggest obstacle I've overcome this year and I'm so grateful God put me through this path it's been a great journey next question is how do you manage school YouTube family friends business etc so I manage family because I'm with them most of my time I'm at school 24 7 because school is basically my house at this moment because I don't even get a full 24 hours to spend with my family I only get like three hours at night and then I'm gone 6 30 in the morning so to manage school I always put school first that's why I haven't like I've said I've, I'll, I'll be able to upload but then that school gets in the way and I just don't have enough time so it's really hard to manage school and YouTube at the same time but I make it work because that's my passion and if I need to I will pause what I'm doing to upload the video but I'm always gonna put school first point book period because that's the only place I'm gonna do like that's the only way I'm gonna get where I am today friends I if it if they stop drama I have no time for it I block it like we're done and business I have stopped my business the business is on hold right now because we are working on the Christmas section and upgrading the jewelry because I've moved my room around I got some new materials and we just got to work on my laminator because that broke so we have a lot of stuff to do but we're getting that ready so, yeah next question is how are you so stunning and Lulu I literally don't even understand why you even commented that like I look at yourself in the mirror this is for all of you actually look at yourself in the mirror gain your confidence point blank period not that that isn't about like not having confidence but look at yourself because all of you are beautiful and wonderfully made you are fearfully and wonderful made that is my favorite Bible verse to answer the next question that that verse is really goes hard I have that on my mirror I write one on my mirror all the time but the fearfully and wonderfully made one is one of my favorites because it's a deep one like that's like something that gains my confidence gains my energy for loving myself and my body so I wanted to tell you guys you are stunning you are beautiful you are fearfully and wonderfully made Lulu I love you so much I can't stop anyway next question is how tall are you the answer is I, wait pause okay so I think I'm five 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 six five 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 four five five I think I'm five five yeah yeah I think I'm five five so that was all the questions that I have like that I can respond to right now without getting like crazy with it but I wanted to make this video short and simple that way you guys can like get a little bit of an updated from me from the like the past two months since I filmed this video but that is basically it for today's video if you haven't already make sure to check out Anna Luisa I highly recommend getting their sustainable jewelry point blank period use code Jordan F10 for 10% off your order go to their website you can look at their holiday deals great for holiday gifts a B and C that's my new favorite thing to say but that is it for today's video thank you Thank you so much Annalisa for sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys can find some perfect jewelry for you guys. Stay tuned for the monthly updates with Anna Luisa and just maybe just stay in contact with Anna Luisa because they have the best jewelry ever. That's it for today's video and I love you guys so much. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn your post notifications and I hope you guys have a happy fall. Happy Halloween. It is October 30th. Tomorrow is Halloween. So super excited to go edit this video now on a Sunday and I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. So yeah. Anyway, I love you guys so much and I hope you have an amazing day. Be joyful. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I love you guys so much. Stay positive. Mwah. Bye.